Hello everyone. In this video, you will learn about how to save case records in Mac repository and reference works. Firstly, I would like to tell you that you have the best programs at your fingertips. These are really flexible, versatile and you can customize them the way you want. There is something more than saving case records which you will be learning today. Let's go over a few points. Rubric hunting in Mac repository. Saving a case in Mac repository. Using different graphs in Mac repository. Unique symptoms searched in Mac reference works. Different connectors and limits used in reference works. You can also save a case in reference works. And if you feel that there is a unique search which has given a, an interesting result which is known as a super rubric which is created in reference works you can export it to Mac repertory and last but not the least you'll also learn about how to follow up a case record in Mac repertory so let's go over the programs and learn each of them and enrich our knowledge of the programs Mac repertory now when you open Mac repertory it opens up with the default repertory and you have the sections over here with the titles below them. Suppose you have a new case with you. You would like to save it. So you go to new patients chart and you enter it with any particular name. Say test case for the day which is current. You can enter any name which you would like to enter for this particular case and you click on save. Now when you click on save, it records the current date of the patient. And this is the patient information panel, the patient chart, which also has a notes section. So you, the best part of this program is the notes section also, where you can write whichever symptom the patient is telling and you can go on saving it. Or maybe after you write the entire case record, just like you write in a Word document, you can save the notes also. For example, here if I enter all the case record, all the details of the patient and I press Ctrl S which is for save and Command S in a Machintosh, I get an option over here and I see a small icon mentioning notes has been saved. So now I can close this small window of notes. and the patient information, analysis and diagnosis plan and prescription are included in the patient chart. I can enter whichever information I feel like entering. So I would like to now go on to record the rubrics of this case. I go to the section mind and I select a few rubrics. For example, delusion ghosts. So I just type delusion and the, you can see this place in the bottom of the rep primary repertory. The words may appear and disappear soon. So the delusion word has been searched by the program in the default repertory and the rubric opens up over here and you can choose the right arrow on your keyboard, press it and it leads you inside the rubric to see all the different sub rubrics. You type ghost and over here you see that there are no remedies under ghost but there is a cross reference mentioned specters, ghosts, spirits, seas. You click over it, just click over it and you have the another rubric where 107 remedies are mentioned. You drag it to the clipboard, primary clipboard A, it, you can keep it as 1, 2, 3, 4 whichever you feel like and now you need not come one step back every time. You can directly go over to the main page by clicking on the mind icon. Now you have another symptom in the case which is for example company desire for. So you click on company and over here when you type the letters the words are appearing fast and disappearing. The speed of the program is the best part because as you will get used to the speed of the program the fastness it will help you record the rubrics faster and give you more time to analyze the case. So here we go to company 
and I click on desire. So I use the right arrow again to go inside and I scroll down with the down arrow and I click on enter to record the rubric. I click on the clipboard A and I see that the rubric has been recorded. Now I go to the generality section. Suppose I don't know where the rubric switch desire is present and I would like to make a search. So I go to this quick search window in the bottom as you can see and I click on desire and I press the space bar and I type sweets. Now the program has shown me sweets and desire in the same rubric, all the rubrics where they are present. This is possible only when you have marked these options which have match all words. It has anywhere the presence of these two words and it shows you the matching rubrics. You can change the settings but be careful that you remember what you have changed. You can always reverse the settings. So now you see a small, the ball which has turned red. You see that the window is limited to the words which you have chosen. You select the rubric sweets desire. You click on enter and it is recorded in the clipboard over here. Remember to clear the word limit or the remedy limits whichever you create in future so that your other windows or the other chapters wherever you will go it shouldn't be locked with these two words. You may not find any rubric and you may be searching for rubrics. So it's important to clear them by just clicking on it and clicking on the icon of the chapter and you go back to the main page. Now you would like to save the clipboard with, in which you just recorded a few rubrics. You just select the clipboard and press Ctrl S in Windows and Command S in a Machintosh. Same is for the notes and also for the repertorization graph where you can press Ctrl S or Command S and the graph, the clipboard and the notes. All three are saved as you can see. So you see your repertorization on the screen and there are various colored uh, waffle graph which you can see. You can shift to whichever graph you feel like. There are no themes, there is a numbered graph. But you would like to make your own graph. You would like to use the same colors but you would like to have the numbers behind this graph. So the idea is to go to the graph option at the top and you go to the option design remedy graphs and you see there are two sections compare and display and you click on the grades part and the no grades is automatically deselected and you press OK. Now you can see that there is numbers in each of the rubrics, each of the remedy and you can save this graph because the, the method which we performed just a while ago was the first step in making a graph. Now you go back to this part and you select save graph. So it will save the graph whichever you feel like using the icon and suppose I select the eye icon or maybe the globe map and I select the words which I choose my graph numbered and I click on OK. Now suppose in the same graph there is just a mention of total rubrics and kingdoms but I would also like to have traditional myasms or maybe Rajan myasms or your kids development. So I go back to the same part design remedy graphs and I see these two options compare and display. In the display part you can see that there is a mention about traditional myasms. I just click over it and the whole groupings open up. All the authors with, who have made their groupings even your families when you can create your families which we can cover in the future videos they all also included. So you can make the use of expert systems right in your repertorization sheet also. Suppose here I just selected traditional myasms. I have to tick it over here in the display part and I click on OK and you can see that the traditional myasms section has also come in my repertorization sheet in my remedy graph and I would like to save it. So I go back to the same option. I choose select save graph. I click over it. I select the same icon and I choose replace existing graph icon. And now the previous icon of the globe is re replaced by the new icon which I just created. So in this way it is also 
helpful to have different graphs so you can switch over and see what helps you in different cases for example i made a graph of rajan miasms over here over here i made a graph of traditional miasms you can shuffle between different graphs as you have been seeing in all of our videos so that is the best part of the program that these graphs can give you different approaches in every case as you progress in your practice moving on further we see that there is there are a few interesting rubrics recorded over here you would like to add one more rubric which is perspiration neck so i go to the next chapter and i click over here perspiration which gives me 47 remedies i click on enter and i record it in the clipboard i see that there are only four remedies which cover this totality there is a possibility that reference works may give me more options more remedies so let's go to reference works to see how it can help us so this is how reference works opens up and i this is my search window i type delusion ghost which is the first symptom the first rubric in that case and i press the space bar five times using the connector in the same remedy then i type company within three words desire and i again press the space bar five times for the same remedy connector and then i use the words sweets within three words desire and the space bar five times again in the same remedy and now i type the last symptom which is perspiration neck now the best part of reference works is that you are not limiting your search result to any particular repository you are about to get your result from materia medica from source books from provings from latest provings from latest case discussions magazines repertories everything so i just press enter and here i have some 20 remedies it's a more number of remedies than what i normally had in my mac repertory totality so that is the best part of this reference works if you would like to save the case over here i press control s and it takes me to my default folder when you are new to using the programs it will give you an option to save the case wherever you feel like i have normally saved my cases under documents you can save it wherever you feel like and the program will open your saving case record in that particular location itself i save over here with the test name of the current date and i click on save now the case is saved over here also i would like to take this totality back to my normal repertorization to see which remedies i have missed on so i select this particular rubric over here from my clipboard and i click on edit option to select the option export rubric which is control e also as a shortcut i click over it i go to mac repository i go to my clipboard and i just have a control v which is a paste option or command v in machintosh and i now see the totality which has some newer remedies which were not covering the totality in my previous repertorization which i did only from a single repertory so that is the beauty of this program reference works that it helps you give more number of remedies and also there are more possibilities because the number of books increase when you make a search so you would like to save this repertorization graph i press control s which saves over here i can delete the previous graph by doing a right click and i can delete the item over here by clicking over it and i select yes i choose to delete the previous rubric clipboard and i would like to save this new rubric clipboard by control s and now you can see the latest ones have been stored over here so that is the best part of this program mac repertory and reference works in saving the new case records let us see how we can use the patient case records so easily and flexibly in the program mac repertory now you have this patient chart record over here which has saved my new patient in the current date if i would like to edit it or make a new session i just click to click new session and 
I click the particular date which I would like to enter for this particular patient for a previous record and I have 28 April 2016 and I create a new session. So here I have a current date session which is of the current date and a previous month session also and I can again record the rubrics and save them over here as I showed you just a while ago. Now let's go and see how beautifully and easily you can access all your patient records. The icon over here on the right side of the patient chart record has all the previous case records. You can go over and see alphabetically all the case records or you can just select the last selected five case records over here. So suppose this was my previously chosen case record. I just choose over it. I click over it and here I have the current date which has been mentioned. Now just before the current date there are two arrows. One arrow has a mention about it taking you to a previous session and just before it the first arrow it shows you that it will take you to the extremely first session which was recorded when the patient came first. So suppose you would like to see the previous session. So it takes me back to 6th April 2016. Again I click this arrow it takes me back to 27th October 2015. Again I click this arrow it takes me back to 14th October 2015 and so on and so forth. So I click on the first session and here I have 6th April 2015 which is the current which was the date when the patient came first. I may not have saved any record over here but when I see next I have saved some rubrics over here because I may have missed out on saving it on that particular date. So here I have saved some notes. I just click over notes and I have the whole case record entered over here with the entire patient history and the details over here with the remedy also mentioned just because I can also print it by going to the print option. I close this window and I see my repertorization graph, my remedy graph. I just click over it and here I have my rubrics recorded in my repertorization graph. I saw them, I close them and now I would like to come to the last session of this particular patient. Now there was some record which I entered in the previous month in the notes and over here when I just scroll down I see that I have mentioned the entire follow-ups also because in the notes you have everything in one place. There is also another option to save it in the plan and prescription. So if I save it in plan and prescription I can go to the option file and I can go to summarize patients chart and here I have right from day one all the patient medicines given and I can give an option to print them and have it for my record. So I close this window and now I go back to my notes section. I scroll down to the extreme end and I see that the last entered medicine was medorinum for this particular patient and now I entered the medicine for the current date and the patient is supposedly doing better. I click on SLTDS for 7 days and I, I must remember to choose the date of the current session which is 28 May 2016. I just click over it and I now have the option to record the case using control record the notes using the control S option or command S in the Macintosh. Now these cases in Mac repertory are stored over here. In documents in Mac repertory cases over here. And all these cases you can just do control A and have a right click to send it to a zipped folder anytime you would like to take a backup or you would like to share it with your colleague. Do remember to paste them in the same folder again so that you can open them directly from this icon here or you can also go to this open patient's chart and it opens up the all the files of the patient but do remember to select the .cs file 
which is mentioned for this particular patient. In Windows, it always has a suffix for the patient which is .cs. You just like to open the .cs file in Machintosh. Let's go over and see how the cases are stored. Let's see the same case saving feature in reference works and Mac repository in a Macintosh operating system. So here we open reference works and you see the search window and you perform a search for example fear within three words of dogs and you press enter which is return on Macintosh and you get a list of remedies say 86 remedies in clipboard A and the reference thing opens up over here behind it. Now you would like to save the reference string, the clipboard, the search which you made. It's a super rubric which has a unique find of 86 remedies. So you just press command and S and it will open up an option where it shows you to save as a particular name. For example, the name of this patient or maybe it's a test case for us. So we save this as a test case and in reference works the program lets you to choose your own folder or create a new folder on your own. So suppose normally all the cases are stored in documents for Mac repertory. So we will save the same cases of reference works also in the documents folder under the folder synergy homeopathic so you go to these folders in documents under your own uh, computer in the documents folder you find a folder named as synergy homeopathic and you have already put the name as save as so when you open the synergy homeopathic folder you see a folder named as mac repertory and reference works and you double click reference works to open it you can make a folder over here which is named as rw cases or whichever name you choose and once that is created you can now go on to click save on the right hand side corner and now the case is saved so you can see on the top of the search window the name of the case comes as a test case so in this way you can save cases in reference works by choosing your own folder and preferably it should be in the folder which you can remember and you can trace it back so suppose now in future i would like to again open this file after i quit reference works so i can go to file and open and it will open up a default folder for which i have to go to the folder where i have kept the cases which i just saved the cases and by default in future the program will open up the same folder where I saved the cases or where I pick up the cases from and then over here I can see the folder which has been created RW cases and I select the test case and I choose and the case will be seen for me now let's go to Mac repertory and say you would like to save an interesting case which you have just recorded so I'll open the latest repertory and I'll take a few rubrics over here and I take suppose a rubric anxiety alone and I take it to the clipboard and I take another rubric which is maybe dullness or whichever you feel like and I open the clipboard now I would like to save these two rubrics so I have to just press command and S and now it by default opens up the folder where normally all the cases of my Mac repertory are saved. So the folder is under documents, synergy homeopathic and under synergy homeopathic it is Mac repertory and in that there is a folder named as cases as you can see in this path. So I have an option to save it as a particular name and as we saved in reference works let's save with the same name there cannot be any conflict because both are in different bold folders so I save it as this name and you can now see that 
my case folder has been saved with the name i chose with the rubrics also so the cases if in future i would like to open on a macintosh i either have the option to do the same thing as i do in windows to select from the right hand side corner of the patient file and see all the patient cases available or i can go to file and open patients chart and i select the case i would like to choose for example i would like to choose suppose the case which has been written over here as vedika and i click okay and i see that i see the date which is the current date so i go to this arrow which is mentioned just before the date and i take it just click over it and i can see all the patient rubrics stored the rubric clipboard stored earlier for the same case with the graph so similar to what windows functions are the rest of the features are definitely the same only the file locations are a bit different for which you need to know that's all from synergy as for now for saving different case records and uh, in mac repository as well as in reference works stay tuned to synergy to learn about more to learn more about these revolutionary programs mac repository reference works if you would like to know more about these programs personally you can visit the website synergyhomeopathic.com and you can locate a sales representative belonging to your own region that's all from synergy thank you